Hello everybody, welcome to class, welcome from the Hot Lotus studio. Very, very excited to be bringing you this class in your own homes. I've missed seeing your lovely faces, so this just is a way of keeping us all connected. We're going to move through a 60-minute practice now. So we're going to start off by just centering ourselves, bringing our feet together, the toes and the heels are touching. We're going to bring the body weight back into the heels. We're going to contract the thigh muscles, gently squeeze the glutes, start to pull the shoulder blades down the back. We're going to start off with pranayama breathing, inhaling through the nose and exhaling out of the mouth, just using the throat as a passageway. So interlace the fingers and glue them underneath the chin. Now the knuckles are going to stay glued to the chin throughout the posture. And we're going to start. So inhale, bring the elbows all the way out to the side, lift the elbows all the way up towards the seat and sit the stomach in full lungs. And now exhale, push the knuckles against the chin, eyes open, mouth wide open, bring the hands together, the wrists touch and the elbows will touch away from the chest. So inhale, you're going to bring the chin down level, go slow, try to slow everything down as you lift the elbows all the way up towards the ceiling. And then exhale, keep the chest up, pull the shoulder blades down the back, exhale all of that stale air out to the mouth. Bring the hands together, the wrists touch and the elbows touch up and away from the chest. Inhale, head down, push through the heels, tighten those thighs, squeeze the glutes, suck the stomach in, keep inhaling, keep inhaling. Exhale now, breastbone lifted, shoulder blades pulling down the back. Eyes open, mouth wide open, hands, wrists and then elbows touch. Inhale, head down, suck the stomach in, stomach, 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 chin level, arms back with the ears, really open up the chest. Exhale now, look up towards the and as you look up, start to push the knuckles against the chin, exhale out of the mouth, reach the elbows forward and the elbows touch. Inhale, head down. You're making the inhale and the exhale the same amount of time. So try and keep that one long, slow, fluid breath. Exhale now, exhale all of that stale air out of the lungs, chest up, shoulder blades down, stomach, 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 reach the elbows forward and the elbows touch. Inhale, head down, mouth closed, tight thighs, squeeze the glutes, stomach in, stretch up out of the waist, keep inhaling exhale now pulling the shoulder blades down the back exhale out of the mouth hands together wrist touch elbows touch away from the chest inhale head down really expand in the lungs again one long slow fluid breath keep inhaling keep inhaling keep inhaling exhale now chest up shoulders down push the knuckles against the chin Hands together, wrists touch and elbows touch away from the chest. Three more. Inhale, mouth closed. Inhale as much air as you can. So keep it going, keep it going. When you feel like you can't take any more, take another sip. Exhale now, chest up, shoulders down. Push the knuckles against the chin. Cross the thumbs. Bring the hands together, wrists touch, elbows touch away from the chest. Inhale, head down. So without the elbows dropping, you're bringing the elbows straight away out to the side. Lifting the elbows up towards the ceiling. Keep inhaling. Inhaling, exhale now. Again, breastbone up, shoulders pulling down, stomach sucked in, push the knuckles against the chin, hands, wrists, and then elbows. Touch last one. Inhale. One last big exhale now. Fantastic work, everyone. When you finish exhaling, arms come down by the side. So in between the postures, we're going to bring the feet together, bring the arms down by the side. And from now on, breathing gets a lot easier. We're just going to do normal breathing in and out through the nose. So remember, just bring yourself back to the breath. Normal breathing in and out through the nose. If you can manage it, we're going to hold off the water just during these first four postures while we warm up the body from the inside out. So we're going to start off with half moon pose with hands to feet pose. So just make sure you've got a bit of space beside you and then come back to the center toes and heels touching each other we're going to bring the arms over the head sideways palms together we're going to interlace the fingers now release the index finger and cross the thumbs we're going to try and get rid of that gap between the palms by squeezing the heel of the hand together to stretch the muscles in the back we're going to keep the chin away from the chest the body weight in the heels by tightening up the thighs tightening up the glutes stretch up out of the waist and then start to bend the body right and left several times now we are decompressing the spine here so when you come back to the center really try and 
length and get that length. Bend over one way, come back to the center, bend over the other way. And then when you feel like you've stretched equally on both sides, we're going to come back and stop in the middle. We're going to work through that setup again. We're going to gently bring that body weight back into the heels by tightening up the front of the thighs, by gently squeezing the glutes to push the hips slightly forward. Now, clavicle lifted, breastbone lifted, chin away from the chest again. Can you squeeze the heel of the hand a little bit more? Stretch up out of the waist and then start to bend the body up and over to the right. We're going to move the hips out to the left immediately now. Easy to move the upper part of the body, not so easy to move the hips beyond the ankles, but it's that half moon shape on the left side of the body that we're looking for. So we're going to achieve that by pushing down with that left foot and then using the right arm to pull the left arm up and over. Breathe in and out through the nose. Please breathe in the posture. Keep the chin away from the chest. Has that body weight shifted forward? Try and bring it back into the heels by again tightening up the thighs. Suck the lower part of the stomach in. Bring that left hip forward. We want two hips in one line. Can you scoop the right shoulder under to open up the chest? If you've got a gap now between the palms, squeeze it together. Come down. Keep pushing the hips out. Come down. Keep pushing the hips out. Come down and push. Lovely. Come back and stop in the middle. We're going to do it the same on the left side. Get that length again. So really stretch up, touch the ceiling, start to bend the body up and over to the left. Push those hips out to the right. Just use the breath. Breathe in and out through the nose. Keep that chin away from the chest. Has the body weight come forward? Shift it back. This time we're going to push that left foot down. We're going to use the right arm to pull the left arm up and over. Can you feel that stretch? We want to get in to that hip. So move in the upper body down. You're pushing the hips out at the same time. Get that left hip forward. Scoop that right shoulder under. Now get rid of the gap between the palms. I really want you to stretch those muscles in the back. You're coming into the hip joint as you keep pulling. Keep coming down. Keep coming down and push. Well done. Come back and stop in the middle. Fantastic. First backward bend of class can always feel a little bit funny. First part of any backward bend, you're just going to drop the head back as far as you can. Look back behind you and start to breathe. Focus on the breath. Breathing in and out through the nose. So the more you look back behind you, the more you open up the airway, the easier it is for you to breathe. Squeeze the heel of the hand together. Start to lift the chest up towards the ceiling and squeeze the glutes. And now bring the arms back with the ears. At the same time, you're going to squeeze the glutes and start to push the stomach, legs, hips. Everything's forward towards the mirror. Chest up, arms back. Chest up again, arms back. Chest up, arms back. You're pushing the stomach, legs, hips, everything forward towards the mirror, which means that you can start to bring the body weight back into the heels. Now use the heel of the hand again. Squeeze the heel of the hand together. Point to the wall behind you. Bring the arms back go back, go on for it, go go for it, look back, well done, come back and stop in the middle, set the stomach in, remember we're going from a backward bend to a forward bend, you need to protect the back, so suck the stomach in, bend the knees a lot, go down, arms and head together, try and go down with a straight spine if you can manage it, we're going to separate now the hands onto the floor in front of you and warm up the backs of the legs, so bend one knee, straighten the other, bend one knee, straighten the other, your chance. This part of class, get creative, do whatever you need to do just to get a little bit of movement going in the backs of the legs, moving it into the hips, moving it into the lower back. So taking a couple of deep knee bends. Fantastic. Now, suck the stomach in, bend the knees a lot, get the stomach against the thighs. You're going to slide the hands down the backs of the legs and try and scoop up the heels from behind, stepping on all five fingers of each hand. Now, if you can't grab the heels, grab the outsides of the feet or as far down the backs of the legs as you can. Now, remember, the point of this exercise is not to lock out the legs straight away. It's to stretch the spine safely. So keep the stomach against the thighs, suck the stomach in. Start to roll that body weight gently forward onto the balls of the feet. Now, you're going to pull. Pull on the heels and start to stretch the body down from the lower spine towards the floor. If you've got a gap that's developed between the stomach and the thighs where the elbows are a little bit further behind the calf muscles get that stomach really glued against the thighs start to pull the shoulder blades down the back and relax the head and relax the neck let's use gravity so roll again roll forward start to push through the balls of the feet contract the front of the thighs lift those sitting bones up towards the ceiling are you pulling are you pulling from the lower back suck the stomach and use the stomach now push the stomach against the thighs now here at the end we can try and straighten out the legs a little bit more, but not at the expense of the stomach. Come away from the thighs. Keep pulling. Fantastic. Come all the way back up. Sit the stomach in. Arms with the ears. Arms down by your side. And breathe. Deep breaths. In and out through the nose. Coming back to stillness. Again, make sure 
clavicles lifted, body weights in the heels, and you're just breathing that normal breath in and out through the nose. We're going to warm up the legs next with awkward pose. So step out to the right. You want six inches between the toes, and you want six inches between the heels. So roughly about two fists back side by side in between the distance. You can check you've got the right distance by placing them in between the toes, in between the heels. Heels invisible behind the ankles. Bring the arms up parallel to the floor. You want five fingers together. Stretch the fingertips forward towards the mirror. Really engage the arms. Pull the shoulder blades down the back. Take a deep breath in. Lift up the chest. Suck the stomach in. Keep it sucked in. Like you're doing a squat, you're going to sit down. So you're pushing the hips towards the back of the room. Sit down till your hips touch the chair. You're pushing the body weight back into the heels, but still stretching the fingertips forward. Now, have you still got six inches between toes, heels, knees, and hands? Sit down lower. Lift up the chest, lift up the chin. Keep stretching forward, suck the stomach in, sit down lower. Well done, come all the way back up. We're immediately going to stand up on the toes. Come as high as you can. You never get a chance to stretch out the backs of the feet. So really lift those heels up towards the ceiling and keep them lifted. Again, lift up the chest, suck the stomach in, and then we're going to sit down high on the toes. The pelvis wants to rotate backwards, so you need to find those lower abdominal muscles. So really suck the stomach in, lift up higher on the toes, lift the breastbone all the way up towards the ceiling, chest up, shoulders down, stomach in, well done, come all the way back up. Third and final part, you're just going to come up a little bit off the toes. So heels about an inch up off the floor. You're going to squeeze the inside of the thighs together, the knees together. Again, hips and head are going to touch an imaginary wall as you go down, stomach in, in your own time, as slow as you can. So again, the pelvis wants to rotate backwards. So you need to push the knees together and forward towards the mirror. Keep sucking the stomach in as you go all the way down, all the way down. Now, knees should always be below the hips. So you're pushing the knees knees together and forward towards the mirror, lift up the breastbone, drop the shoulders down away from the ears, suck the stomach in, thighs parallel to the floor, arms parallel to the thighs from the side, you look like you're holding a box, suck the stomach in, come up an inch and hold it, and then push yourself back up, squeeze the inner thighs, the knees together, suck the stomach in, well done, right leg back to left, arms down by your side, come back to the breath now more than ever, big muscles in the legs, they require a lot of oxygen, so it's very, very normal, for your heart rate to be elevated at this point in class. Slow it down, slow the breathing down, come back to stillness. We've got one more posture left in the warm-up series. It's called Garuasana Eagle Pose. We're going to line up all the major joints. So bring the feet together again, toes and heels touching. Just look at your arms, identify the right from the left, and then we're going to bring the arms over the head sideways. We're going to swing right arm underneath the left arm, that big cross at the elbows, and twist like ropes. So, if you can, bring the hands in front of the face. If you've got tight shoulders, don't worry about it and just grab the shoulders just for today. Pull the elbows down so the fingertips are down below the nose. Stomach in and sit down. Sit down low. Stay low. Right leg up and over the left leg. We're going to bring it high, crossing over and twisting light ropes, sliding the foot down the back of the calf muscle. You should be able to see five toes visible in the mirror. Keep squeezing the inner thighs towards each other and really sucking the stomach in. Body weight back into the heels. So bring the knees to the right and upper body to the left. You're lining the elbows and the knees up in the mirror. Again, push the ankle into the back of the calf. Body weight back, lift up the chest, sit down lower. Well done, come all the way back up. Arms over your head sideways. We're going to bring this time the left arm, big cross at the elbow, so left under the right, either interlacing the fingers or grabbing hold of the shoulders. Suck the stomach in, sit down, sit down low, low, low. Body weight back, chest up, left leg up and over the right leg. Bring it high, crossing over and twisting like ropes. You're hooking the foot behind the calf muscle now. Wherever you get to today is your practice, your posture. So if you can't hook your foot over the calf muscle, don't worry, just balance on one leg, find the breath and breathe. We're gonna bring the knees then a little bit to the left and the upper body to the right, just to line up the elbows and the knees in the mirror. Push the ankle into the back of the calf muscle. Sit down lower, really squeeze everything nice and tight, chest up. Well done, come all the way back up, arms over your head, arms down by your side, and breathe. Well done, everyone. The first official water break now, so if you'd like to take a sip of water, it's now your chance to do this. So remember, try not to gulp too much water. 
during class. It sits heavily on the stomach. So generally what you'll find is just focus on the breath, that normal breathing in and out through the nose. So when we say normal breathing, we just mean that it's not labored. So just inhaling and exhaling through the nose. We're going to move on to a standing series now. You're going to hear me talk about a locked out leg. And a locked out leg is contraction of the thigh muscle taking pressure of the knee. So when you kick out in the posture, you're always protecting the knee joint. So we're going to bring the feet together. The toes and the heels are going to touch. Shift the weight now to the left leg. Contract the thigh muscle so the kneecap lifts up. Feel nice and firm in that thigh. Suck the lower part of the stomach in. Now I want you to stretch up out of the waist and then lift the right leg up so the thigh is parallel to the floor and the ankle is underneath the knee. Keep that length. Suck the stomach in and round up and over and grab the foot just below where the toes finish. If you find that you bend the knee as you go down, don't worry about it. But once you're down there, again, contract that thigh muscle. Distribute the body weight evenly over the standing foot so you're not sinking back into the heel. Stomach in. If you've got a contracted thigh muscle, you can move on to the second part of the posture. You can start to kick out. Kick the right leg out towards the mirror. Turn the toes in towards your face. So remember, you've got a kick to touch. So we really want to drive the heel forward and flex the foot back towards the face. Sit the stomach in, tighten both thigh muscles, chest up, shoulders down, start to bend the elbows in and down beside the calf muscle and then eventually they'll go down below. You've got a kick to touch. So keep driving that heel forward and now start to tuck the chin in to look at the belly button and eventually you'll be able to touch the forehead to the knee. Fantastic. Come up the same way that you went in. Straight spine, straight arms, right leg down, arms down by your side. Deep breaths in and out through the nose. So we're going to move through stage by stage in this posture. Just finishing and holding whatever stage you're at just for today. So shifting your weight now to the right leg. Contract the thigh muscle. Suck the lower part of the stomach in. Lift that left leg up so the thigh is parallel. The ankle is underneath and he flex the foot. It's very difficult to maintain the contraction of the thigh muscle. You might feel like you're doing it, but think tight thigh, tight thigh, tight thigh. Stomach in. You can move on if you want to. If you've got that contraction, round up and over and down. So remember, you're interlacing the fingers and holding just below the toes. Thumb included with the grip. It's your strongest digit. It. So when you can kick out, you can really hold that posture. Stomach in again, tight thigh, start to kick, kick. That left leg out towards the mirror, turn the toes in towards your face. You've got a kick to touch. So drive that heel, the furthest thing towards the mirror. Start to turn the toes back towards your nose. Tight thighs. So feel that cramping sensation on the top of the thighs. You drive that heel forward, stomach in. Start to bend the elbows in and down towards the calf muscle. And then eventually they're going to go down below. You've got a kick to touch. So keep kicking that heel forward. Turn the toes in and start to look in. Tuck the chin in. Look at the belly button and start to round down. Touch the forehead to the knee. Fantastic. Come up the same way that you went in. Straight spine, straight arms, left leg down, arms down by your side. Come back to stillness. Come back to the breath. We're going to move on now to standing bow pulling posture. We want right hand out to the right. Elbow in close towards the side of the body. Just follow me just for the hand grip. So thumb towards the back of the room without turning your hand. So you're keeping your palm facing the ceiling. Drop your hand down. We're going to grab the right foot from the inside at the ankle joint. So you've got that nice firm grip. Bring the knees together to stop. Start. We're going to bring that left arm up towards the ceiling. So let's take a moment. It's always worth taking a moment for the setups. So we're going to contract the thigh muscle of the leg that we're balancing on. Squeeze the glutes and push the hips forward. Stretch up out of the waist. So to start with, the chin is touching the shoulder. We're going to let that right shoulder start to go back. Take a deep breath. I don't want you to move the upper body. I just want you to kick. So start to kick that right leg directly back and up towards the ceiling. At the, sa at the same time, you're going to stretch the fingertips tips up towards the ceiling. Now, the upper body will start to move when you can't kick anymore. So you're kicking that right leg directly back and up towards the ceiling. Let that right shoulder get taken back by the kick. At the same time, you're stretching that left fingertips forward. Has the chin dropped? Try and keep the chin away from the chest. Eventually, the chin will be touching the shoulder. At, one, at some point, you'll be able to see the foot come up over the top of your head in the mirror. Keep breathing in and out through the nose. Don't be afraid now. Shift that body weight forward. Really stretch forward. You're trying to turn touch that front wall. At the same time, kick that foot up towards the ceiling. Keep it going. If you've fallen out, I'm going to wait for you. You've got enough time. Keep stretching up. Let's go for it. Kick back into the hand. Let that left shoulder get taken back by the kick. Stretch forward. Keep the chin away from the chest as you come all the way down. Bring the body down and kick. Well done. Come all the way back up. 
Left hand out to the side, elbow in close, thumb towards the back of the room, palm is facing the ceiling. Drop the hand down, grab your foot from the inside at the ankle joint, knees together to start. Right arm stretch up, touch the ceiling again. Tight thigh, the leg you're balancing on, squeeze the glutes, push the hips forward, start the back bend. Keep stretching up, get the chin touching the shoulder, just kick. Swipe the inner thighs together. It's going to help with the alignment. You're just kicking that left leg directly back and up towards the ceiling. At the same time, you're stretching the right fingertips up towards the ceiling. Just keep kicking. The upper body will start to move when you can't kick anymore. Let that shoulder get taken back by the kick at the same time. As you come down, keep the chin away from the chest. The chin is going to touch the shoulder. Get space between the shoulders. Strong on that standing leg. Squeeze the pelvic floor. It really helps with the balance. Don't be afraid. Bring the body down. Go to your edge. Bring the body down. Keep stretching forward. Touch the front room. Touch the front wall. That's it. Keep kicking. Fantastic. Bring the body down and kick. Lovely. Well done. Come all the way back up. Left leg down. Arms down by your side. Come back to stillness. Come back to the breath. We're going to come to the back of the towel and the mat now. Bringing the feet together. Balancing stick. Posture is only 10 seconds long, so just get into it straight away. We're going to work through the setup again. Bring the arms over the head sideways, palms together. Interlace the fingers, release the index finger, across the thumbs. Remember what I was saying at the beginning of the class. We're really trying to eliminate the gap between the palms to stretch the muscles in the back. Keep the chin away from the chest. Stretch up. We're going to step forward with the right leg. Left foot's going to come up off the floor. Take a moment to balance yourself. Now, before we're going to go down, we're going to stretch up again, stomach in, and then body down and leg up. So eventually, you're going to look like a T as in Tom. Try and keep the chin away from the chest. Again, we're going to squeeze the heel of the hand together and really try and touch the front of the room. Point the foot towards the back of the room. Everyone, get the body down one more inch. Try and get the arms up, but keep the body there. Arms up. Well done. Fantastic. Come all the way back up. Right leg back to the left. Breathe in and out through the nose. Keep that breath going. <laughs> and then stretch up out of the way. You can tell it's live there. And step forward this time with the right leg, left leg, the right leg comes up off the floor, stretch up, and then body down, and leg up, keep the chin away from the chest, keep stretching forward, fantastic, drop that right hip down slightly, so engage the inner thigh of the leg that you're balancing on, you want the sole of the foot to be flat towards the ceiling, keep the chin away from the chest, are you get eliminating the gap between the palms, get the body down one more inch, body down, leg up, well done, come all the way back up, coming back to stillness, bring the arms down by the side, and deep breaths, in and out through the nose. We're going to slow everything down now. We're going to slow the heart rate down, slow the breathing down, big stretch into the backs of the legs, moving it into the hips and into the lower back. So bringing the feet together, arms over your head sideways, palms together. We're going to step out to the right, big step, bring the arms down parallel to the floor. Now, we're going to take a moment again on the setup. You want the heels, the outside of the heels, to be in line with the outsides of the baby toes so that the feet are slightly pigeon toed. We're going to tighten up the front of the thighs again. When we say hips forward, if you squeeze the glutes, you'll be able to push the hips slightly forward towards the mirror, lift up the breastbone. Start to stretch the arms towards the sides of the room, suck the stomach in, keep the chin away from the chest, and bend forward from the lower spine, tight thighs, tight thighs, all the way down, suck the stomach in, and then slide your hands as far down the backs of the legs as you can. Now, you're going to try and either grab for the heels or grab for the outsides of the feet. If you can't grab either, please don't worry about it. Just grab as far down the backs of the legs as you can. Gravity is going to stretch the lower back for you. Roll the body weight gently forward onto the base of the big toe, the little toe. You're going to push through those, push through the heels, contract the front of the thighs, lift the sitting bones up towards the ceiling, engage the core. And now you're going to start to pull. As you pull on the heels, you're bending the elbows towards the back of the calf muscles. Keep that breastbone forward, chin forward. Eventually, you're going to try and touch the forehead on the floor between the feet. Suck the stomach and keep pulling. Keep breathing in and out through the nose. One last time. We're going to tighten up those thighs again, suck the stomach in, keep that breastbone forward, keep on going, keep going, keep going, lovely, well done, come all the way back up, fantastic posture, suck the stomach in, right leg back to the left, arms over your head, arms down by your side, deep breaths, 
in and out through the nose. We're already at triangle, the master posture of the whole of the standing series. So come into the left hand side of the mat, toes and heels are touching each other, arms down by the side, bring the arms over the head sideways, palms together. We're going to take a big step out to the right, bring the arms down parallel to the floor. So as a guide, you want your ankles to be underneath the wrist. You need to commit to this posture, big wide step, stretch the fingertips towards the sides of the room, squeeze the glutes, push the hips forward towards the mirror, turn the right foot out so it's parallel, turn that left foot in slightly and then bend the knee and sit down. So eventually what you're working on is that the thigh is going to be parallel to the floor. Now, one of the most important thing is for the knee to track the ankle for the whole of the posture. As you bring the thigh down parallel, this left hip's going to come a little bit down and forward towards the floor. So bring more body weight onto the back foot, straighten up the spine, stretch the arms, flip the hands without moving that left hip, just move the upper body. You're going to bring that right elbow down in front of the knee. Now take a moment because the fingertips should be pointed between the big and the second toe. Turn the head, look up towards the ceiling, touch the chin to the shoulder. You're stretching the arms apart in opposite directions. You want one straight line from the armpit to the outside of the hip to the outside of the foot. So tighten up that left thigh muscle. You've got a connection between the placement of the knee and the opposite hip. So as you use that right elbow to push the knee back, the left hip comes down and forward towards the floor. Now breathe in and out through the nose. We're Without moving that left hip, turn that left rib cage up towards the ceiling. Really open up the chest. Well done. Come all the way back up. Right foot in, left foot out. Again, squeeze the glutes, push the hips forward, bend the knee and sit down. So remember, that knee is going to track the ankle for the whole of the posture. The thigh parallel to the floor, right hip down and forward. Open up the chest. Take a deep breath in, flip the hands. Without moving the right hip, just move the arms. Bring that elbow in front of the knee. So remember again, quick check, fingertips pointing between the big and the second toe. Turn the head, look up towards the ceiling, touch the chin to the shoulder. So again, you've got that connection. Use that left elbow to keep the knee in line with the ankle, right hip down and forward towards the floor. Without turning, without moving that right hip, turn that right rib cage up towards the ceiling. Keep breathing in and out through the nose. Stretch up, stretch down. Well done. Come all the way back up. Right leg back to left, arms over your head. Arms down by your side. Come back to the breath. Breathing in and out through the nose. So we're going to go, we've got two postures now. Before we go down onto the floor, we're then going to transition with a savasana between the standing and the floor series. So let's slow it down again. So feet together, arms over your head sideways, palms together. This time now interlace fingers, we want the hands just to be in prayer and we're just crossing the thumbs at the back again. Get rid of that gap between the palms, keep the chin up, stretch up. Now step to the right, big step, about a meter distance, so it is about the, the width of the towel and the mat. Pick up the toes, turn on the heels and then we're going to face the front of the room. Going to bring that left hip round just a couple of times to get two hips in one line. Just make sure that back foot isn't turned too far out to the side, otherwise you'll be twisting on the knee. You want the toes more or less pointing towards the front of the room. Now, strong on that back leg, so push that back heel into the floor, tighten up the thigh, suck the stomach in, lengthen, stretch up out of the waist, tuck the chin into the chest, and you're going to round up and over. Now, for most people, they're going to have to bend the front knee to get the forehead touching the knee. So please bend the front knee as much as you need to to get that forehead to knee connection. We're trying to articulate the spine here, the lower, middle and upper back. So bring the fingertips onto the floor in front of you. If you've got the balance there, try and bring the hands back together into prayer. You can push the fingertips into the floor. Use what you've got. So we're going to use the fingertips, push them into the floor, straighten out the wrists and the elbows, suck the stomach in, try and get the forehead a little bit higher up on the knee, really round in the lower, middle and upper back to in the chin in. Well done. Keep going. And then come all the way back up. Suck the stomach in. Arms with the ears. Find the eyes. Turn to face. The front of the room. Turn to face. The opposite side. Now just make sure that the feet haven't crept in here. You've still got that wide distance and that back foot isn't turned out. Bring that right hip round now. Two hips in one line. Strong on that back leg. Push the heel into the floor. Tighten up the thigh. Suck the stomach in. Keep that right hip down and round as you tuck the chin in and round up and over. Stomach, stomach, stomach all the way down. Touching the forehead. 
to the knee. So again, remember, bend the front knee as much as you need to. It's a compression posture before it's a stretching posture, this one. So compression posture. So bringing the hands back together into prayer, pushing the fingertips into the floor. So I'm going to try and get two hips in one line, really balance things out. So bringing that body weight gently forward onto the front foot. You can push through the front heel and gently, as you use the forehead to push the knee back, that left hip up and the right hips coming down, two hips in one line. Well done. Suck the stomach in. Oh, Arms with the ears. Pick up the toes. Face in the front. Right leg back to the left. Arms down. And again, coming back to stillness. We're going to finish by balancing on one leg. Now come into tree pose to end our standing series. So we're going to shift the weight to the left leg. Lift the right leg up. So bringing the knee up as high as you can. And then we're going to hold the right foot from underneath. The sole of the foot is going to be flat towards the ceiling. Now just be careful of this right knee as you let the right knee come down and out. We're eventually bringing the heel into the center line of the body in line with the belly button. It's going to be different for everyone where your knee falls. So just let it fall in its natural place. Then bring the right hand up center of the chest. The thumb is at the sternum. So again, we're going to focus on the alignment. You're going to have to feel it if you've not got a mirror in front of you. So relax the toes, push through the base of the big toe, the little toe and the heel, and start to tighten up the thigh. Gently squeeze in the left glute, suck the stomach in, tailbone under, breastbone is lifted, all those shoulder blades pulling down the back, just breathing and out through the nose. Now gently at the end, to open up the hip, we're going to squeeze that right glute, gently push the knee back. And then letting the right foot come down, arms come down by your side. Shift the weight now to the right leg. We're going to lift this left leg up again as high as you can. Hold the foot from underneath, sole of the foot flat towards the ceiling. Again, you're just letting that knee come down where it will fall. Left hand up center of the chest, then is at the stern and feel the posture. Feel the breath. Focus on taking some deep breaths in and out through the nose. Are you collapsing? Lift that breastbone up, pull the shoulders down. Contract the thigh muscle of the leg that you're balancing on. Really engage the core. Feel that body weight. We're gently going to squeeze that left glute now as we push the knee back. And let that left leg come down, feet together. Arms come down by your side. Come back to stillness. Deep breaths in and out through the nose. That's the end of the standing series. Now, please thank yourselves. Amazing work. Well done. We're going to come down onto the mat now. We're going to lie down in a savasana. Heels touch, feet fall apart, arms down by the side. So Savasana actually does have a form to it. So lying down on the towel and mat. Heels touch, feet fall apart, arms in close towards the side of the body. The palms face the ceiling. Just the chin is just ever so slightly tucked. Just giving that internal focus and just take some deep breaths here. In and out through the nose. Eyes are open. Just always trying to stay in the present moment. If you find that your mind wanders, Try bringing your attention back maybe to the breath or just to one spot on the ceiling. So we're going to move on now to a floor series. That's Savasana, an important point during class where we transition between the standing series. The standing series designed to warm up the body, big movements, get the heart rate going. The floor series seem like smaller movements, but working deeper into the body, working deeper with the breath. So we're going to start off with a posture called wind removing pose. So lying down on the towel and mat, 
We're going to lift the right leg up, interlace the fingers, include the thumb with the grip. We're going to hold just below the knee. So make sure you're not holding too far down on the shin and you're not holding the kneecap just below the knee. We're going to pull the right knee out and then back in just to avoid the rib cage and pull the right knee down towards the shoulder. Now it's usually a little bit further out than what you think. You want the side of the thigh to be touching the side of the stomach, ankle, knee, shoulder all in alignment. The left calf muscles should be on the floor. If it isn't, just flex that left foot back towards your face. Now, we're going to tuck the chin, look down the center line of the body. If you've rolled a little bit too much onto the right side, pull down a little bit harder with the left elbow. You roughly want both elbows to be in one line. We want the elbows to be close in towards the side of the body. Breathe in and out through the nose. If you feel like these upper trapezius muscles will pull the shoulder blades up, make an effort. Pull the shoulder blades down the back. You want to use the bicep strength to pull. Keep pulling, keep pulling, pull and relax the right leg. Same on the left side now. So grab the left leg again, two inches below the knee. We're going to pull the left knee out and in and all the way down towards the shoulder. Eventually the knee is going to be in the armpit. Right calf muscle on the floor. If it isn't, just flex that foot back towards your face. Tuck the chin in. Look down the center side of the body. Pull those shoulder blades down the back. Both elbows at the same level. Use the bicep strength to pull. Keep pulling. Take a deep breath in as you exhale. Pull and relax the left leg. So the final part of the posture now, lift both legs up at the same time. So we want the thighs onto the stomach. So be nice and compact. We're going to grab hold of the elbows just below the knees. If you can't grab the elbows, grab as far down the forearms as you can. If you can't grab down the forearms, grab the wrist. Just go to where your body will let you go today. So the most important thing here is that we're going to really pull the knees in towards the chest, even if half of the lower back comes up off the floor. Tuck the chin into the chest, look down the center line of your body. We're going to pull the shoulders blades away from the ears. So pull down on the elbows, pull the elbows down towards the floor. Move the shoulder blades away from the ears, keep pulling the knees. And now suck the stomach in. As without lifting up the shoulders, we're going to roll the coccyx towards the back of the room. Keep pulling the elbows down towards the floor. Flatten out the spine. And then release, relax. Coming back to stillness, the heels touch, feet fall apart, arms down by the side. Nice long breaths in and out through the nose. So in the next part of class, we are going to do a sit-up. If you have any issues with your lower back, please, please just skip the sit-up, roll onto the side, push up on the hands, join in with the exhalations, get rid of toxins through the breath by giving two nice big exhalations of breath. If you don't have any issues with your lower back, please do the sit-up and just follow the form. So we want toes and heels to touch, flex the feet back towards your face, arms over your head sideways, palms face the ceiling, just cross the thumbs. Suck the stomach in, push the lower back into the floor, take a deep breath in, and then keep the arms with the ears as you sit up, double bounce, double leg side, forehead to knees and elbows, touch the floor. Well done, everyone. Turn around now, lie down on your stomach. We're going to start off a spine strengthening series now. Now I'm going to work you really hard at this point in class. We're going to do two sets of the spine strengthening series. You stay up, yep. Yeah. So we're going to start off with a posture called spine. It's called Kobe. <laughs> Kobe. Throw me now. Call cobra. So position of the hands is very important. We really want the hands underneath the shoulders, close into the chest. The fingertips are in line with the tops of the shoulders. The little baby fingers are in line with the outside of the shoulder. Now the five fingers should be together. The elbows are pointing up to the ceiling. You're dropping the shoulders down towards the floor. One leg now. So the toes and heels touch. I want you to tighten up the thigh muscles so the kneecaps lift up off the floor. Squeeze the glutes. Pull the belly button in. Take a deep breath in and then come up. As you lift the chest up off the floor, you're not using the hand strength to lift yourself up. You're using the lower back strength. So pull the elbows down towards the hips. You're moving those shoulder blades away from the ears. Suck the stomach in. Now where your eyes go, your body's going to follow. So keep looking up towards the ceiling. Keep pulling the elbows down towards the hips. You're leading with the chest, leading with the chin like a cobra. Come up. Well done. Slowly coming down with control. Left ear on the towel and mat. You're looking towards the side of the room. Toes touch. Heels fall apart. Arms down by your side. Come back to the breath. It's very important. 
it's particularly when you're on the floor, just to focus on the breathing. Your breathing is a little bit restricted when you go into the posture. You're doing what's called 80-20 breathing. So you take a deep breath in as you go into the posture. 100% then, you're just going to release 20% of the air in and out through the nose when you're in the posture. Please don't hold the breath. You're just going to come out quicker. So bring the hands underneath the shoulders, close into the chest. We've got a second set now. Fingertips in line with the tops of the shoulders, little baby fingers in line with the outsides of the shoulders. Elbows up, shoulders down. Set yourself up, toes and heels touch, tight thighs, tight glutes. Take a deep breath in and then come up. So look up towards the ceiling. As you come up, you're pulling the elbows down towards the hips to move the shoulder blades down the back. Feel those shoulder blades melt down the back. Lift the breastbone up towards the ceiling. Keep pulling the belly button in. Now squeeze the glutes one last time. Can you extend a little bit further forward? Look up towards the ceiling and come up. Lovely, well done. Slowly lower and down. This time the right ear is on the talon mat. You're looking towards the left side of the room. Toes touch, heels fall apart. Just come back to that stillness. Come back to the breath. Let the body sink into the floor. Arms straight by the side of the body. You're going to flip the hands over so the palms are flat towards the floor. Now walk the arms underneath the body. Eventually, little baby fingers are going to touch each other underneath the body. So most important thing, you want to try and get the soft part of the elbows onto the floor. I'm going to move this out of the way before I break my neck. Stretch the fingertips down towards the floor, soft part of the elbows on the talon mat. If they're not, just bring the arms towards the side of the body and keep those soft part of the elbows onto the talon mat. Chin forward. Keep it simple now. We're going to relax the left leg. Tighten up the right thigh. Take a deep breath. Lengthen and lift. So you're going to lift that right leg up towards the ceiling. Now, at the same time, we're going to use the flat hands and the soft part of the elbows to push that body weight gently forward onto the chest. At the same time, you're going to lengthen the leg. So you're contracting that thigh muscle, pointing the foot towards the back of the room. Can you lift it up a little bit higher? Well done. Slowly lower that right leg down. Left leg nice, solid, concrete one, please. Take a deep breath. Lengthen and lift. At the same time that you lift that left leg up, you're using the soft part of the elbows, the flat hands. You're pushing that body weight forward onto the upper part of the body, but you're lengthening. Extend at the hip joint, so tighten up that thigh, lengthen and lift. Slowly lower that left leg down. Eyes down, mouth down. Readjust the arms, get the elbows a little bit closer together underneath the body. You can open up the fingertips to get a little bit more purchase on the towel and mat. We need a bit of oomph to get in this posture. So this, pre this posture puts a lot of pressure on the back of the neck, so it's important to keep the mouth down. Down, the eyes down when you do it. We want to bring one leg. So toes and heels twitched and tighten up the thigh muscles. Take a deep breath in and then lift both legs up at the same time. So as you lift up, use the hands. Push that body weight forward and drop the chest down. Drop the shoulders down. Squeeze the glutes. Lengthen the legs. Get rid of that bend in the knees. Can you come up a little bit higher? And slowly coming down with control. Turning towards the right. So you want the left ear on the towel and my arms come out from underneath. You can give your fingertips a little bit of a wiggle if you want to. And just rest. This posture, really one of the best stretches that you can get for the neck. It's a passive stretch. You don't have to do anything at this point in class. So just sink into the towel and mat. Relax in Savasana. Okay, we're going to move on to the second set now. So arms straight by the side of the body. Flip the hands over so the palms face the floor. Walk the arms underneath the body. Can you get a little bit closer? Second set, always trying to do micro improvements. Chin forward. Relax the left leg. Tighten up the right thigh. Take a deep breath. Lengthen and lift. You're going to lift that right leg up towards the ceiling. At the same time, use those flat hands. Soft at the elbows. Push that body weight forward onto the chest. Lengthen the leg. Point the foot, sole of the foot flat towards the ceiling. Lift up for three, for two, for one, and slowly lower down. Relax nice and loose in the right leg. Tighten up that left thigh. Start to lengthen and lift. Lift that left leg up. Push that body weight forward, but lengthen the leg. Feel that extension. Tighten up the thigh. Sole of the foot flat towards the ceiling. Hold it for four, for three, for two, for one. Well done. Slowly lower down. Eyes down, mouth down. Read the arms. Get the elbows a little bit close together underneath the body. So shift around. Stretch the fingertips down towards the knees. Open up the hands and grab the floor with the fingertips. Eyes down, mouth down. Mouth on the towel mat. No cheating. No looking around. I can see you. Toes and heels 
hands touch, tighten up the thighs and lift both legs up at the same time. Use it. Shift that body weight forward. Drop the chest down. Drop the shoulders down. Squeeze those glutes. Point the feet. Lift. Slowly lower down with control. Well done. This time looking towards the left, right ear on the tower mat. We're just letting the body sink into the floor. You're strong in the postures. You're soft in Savasana. Just let it go. Switch off. Relax. Okay, bring the arms out to this side of you. Make sure you've got enough space so that you can stretch your fingertips towards the sides of the room or whatever space you're occupying at the moment. Really stretching out. We want one leg, toes and heels touching each other. Tighten up those thighs again. Squeeze the glutes. Pull the belly in. Take a deep breath. And then lift arms. Body, head, leg, everything comes up off the floor. So the glutes, squeeze them again, lengthen the legs. Look up towards the ceiling where the eyes go, the body's going to follow. Now, I want you to stretch the fingertips towards the sides of the room. At the same time, move those shoulder blades down the back, keep lengthening, keep sucking the stomach in. Squeeze the glutes again, get rid of the bend in the knees, point the feet towards the back of the room. Without dropping the legs, lift the chest up higher, lift the chest up higher, keep it there, get the chest up. Now get the thighs up. I want the thighs to come up, get the chest up, get the chest up, get the thighs up. Well done, slowly. <laughs> coming down with control looking towards the right left ear on the towel and mat come back to stillness come back to the breath remember not holding the breath even when you're in the posture the 80 80 20 breathing just practicing it so taking a deep breath in and maintaining the posture shallow breaths in and out through the nose let's do it again bring the arms out to the side of your palms face the floor five fingers together nice and aerodynamic chin forward take a deep breath in and then lift arms body head like everything comes up off the floor so eventually the hip bones are just on the floor we want to get the thighs up off the floor as well and the chest up try and stretch the fingertips towards the side of the room are you breathing in and out through the nose pull the shoulder blades down the back get the chest up higher look up keep it there get the thighs up a little bit higher legs Lengthen the legs, get the thighs up a little bit higher, get the chest up, chest up. Come down with control. You've been amazing. Well done. Right here on the towel and mat. Toes touch, heels fall apart. Relax in Savasana. So we have one more posture left in this spine strengthening series. We've just worked the lower, middle, and upper back. We're going to put it all together now in a posture called floor bow. So grab the feet from the outside just below where the toes finish. Now, if you find you can't grab both feet at the same time, not a worry. We're going to do one at a time. So first you can do the right and then the left. Straighten out the arms. Get rid of the kink in the wrists. You want six inches between the feet, but try and keep the knees together because they will open up naturally when we kick back in the posture. We're going to work from the glutes, so squeeze the glutes, push the hips into the floor, take a deep breath, and then kick, kick back into the hands. Let the upper body just get taken back by the kick. It's like standing bow. You're driving from the kick. Again, squeeze the glutes, push the hips into the floor, pull the shoulder blades down the back, really open up the chest. Where the eyes go, the body follows, so you're looking up towards the ceiling. Keep kicking back into the hands, come up a little bit higher keep kicking dry from the kick bring that body weight forward and kick well done slowly coming down with control looking towards the right left ear on the talon mat toes touch heels fall apart so the reason we keep that six inches between the knees and the feet is so that the rounding goes into the lower middle and upper back we don't want to have a wide distance between the knees because all of the rounding goes into the lower back then so try and just kick directly back and up towards the scene and it might not look as good it might not be as high but we want to go for form over depth the depth will come with time so the second set grab your feet just below where the toes finish if you did the right leg last time we're going to do the left leg this time squeeze the glutes start to push the hips into the floor take a deep breath in and then kick just drive from the kick look up towards the ceiling let the shoulder get taken back by the kick pull the shoulder blades down the back squeeze the glutes keep pushing the hips into the floor kick back into the hands use the breath 80 20 breathing look up towards the ceiling and kick and then slowly coming down with control turning this time to the left, you want the right ear on the talon mat. Really let it go. Let the right ear sink into the talon mat. Just relaxing in Savasana.
So we've just finished the spine strengthening series now. We're going to move on to the final part of class now, starting off with a posture called fixed firm pose. So you're going to bring yourself up with the hands and come to the top of the towel and the mat. Yep, fabulous. We're going to sit down Japanese style to start with. So for a lot of people, sitting down Japanese style puts a lot of pressure on the knees. So keep the hands to the side of you and the body weight in the fingertips. And then we're going to gently move the hips towards the floor. Eventually, hips are going to touch the floor between the feet. The toes are pointing towards the back of the room. The heels, the inside of the heels are in line with the outsides of the hips, the hips on the floor. Before we go back, lift up the chest, pull the shoulders down away from the ears. Now, if the hips are not on the floor between the feet, you're keeping that body weight in the fingertips, and then you're taking gentle pressure on and off the knees, and eventually we'll get the hips on the floor. If the hips are on the floor, you're ready to move on. Put the hands to the backs of the feet, thumbs inside, fingers outside. Now carefully, safely walk down one elbow at a time, right elbow, left elbow, top of the head. Back of the head, relax the shoulders on the floor. Bring the arms over the head sideways, grab hold of the elbows, pull the elbows down towards the floor. You're gonna tuck the chin into the chest, look down the center line of your body. Now we're gonna stretch out the hip flexors, preparing you for camel. So talk to to squeeze the knees together and forward towards the room. Remember the hips and the knees never come up off the floor. Lift that breastbone up towards the ceiling. Tuck the chin in. Just take a couple of deep breaths here in and out through the nose. And then when you're ready, put the hands to the backs of the feet. Push yourself up one elbow at a time. Turn around, lie down, relax on your back in Savasana, legs straight, heels touch, feet full apart, coming back to that place of stillness that you've got inside of you and just focusing on the breath, breathe in and out through the nose. So the next posture is a restorative posture designed to give you a little bit of a boost of energy to see you through these final big few postures of class. So toes and heels touch, flex your feet. Bring your arms over the head sideways, palms face the ceiling, cross the thumbs. Tuck the chin in, take a deep breath in, suck the stomach in, keep the arms with the ears and then sit up, double bounce, double exhale, forehead to the knees and elbows, touch the foot, come to the back of the towel and the mat. Again, we're going to start off by sitting down, Japanese style, hips on the heels. Bring the arms over the head sideways, palms together, crossing the thumbs. Now, I want the chin away to, from the chest. Again, squeeze the heel of the hand together, stretch the muscles in the back. As you come down, you'll want to drop the chin. Try and keep the chin lifted. Suck the stomach in. Keep the hips touching the heels for as long as you can. So lengthen, stomach in, bottom ribs together, and then go down. Hips touching the heels for as long as you can. Keep the chin away from the chest. Use the eyes. Keep looking forward. Keep a straight spine. Keep squeezing the heel of the hands together, then eventually you'll be able to touch the forehead on the floor before the little baby fingers. Now, wherever you get today, it's your practice, your posture. So chin away from the chest, open up the throat. We're going to stretch every single muscle in the back. So squeeze the heel of the hand together, get ready the gap between the palms, cross the thumbs, lengthen. Now use the stomach, use the stomach, really push against the thighs. As you push the hips towards the back of the room, pull the shoulder blades down the back, really squeeze the heel of the hand together. Well done, keep going, just breathe here, keep going. And then come all the way back up. When you're ready, sit the stomach and squeeze the knees, keep the arms with the ears. Exhale, arms come down by your side. Turn around, lie down, relax on your back in Savasana, coming back to stillness. Breathe in and out through the nose. Okay, so we have got to camel. We've worked up for the whole of class for camel. It's the deepest backbend of class, so give it everything that you've got. Toes and heels touch. Flex your feet. Bring the arms over the head sideways. Palms face the ceiling. Cross the thumbs. Now, take a deep breath in. Suck the stomach in. Push the lower back into the floor. Take a deep breath. Sit up. Double bounce. Double exhale. Floor to knees. Elbows. Touch the floor. So you're going to come to the top of your towel and mat. 
You're going to stand up on the knees. We want to have six inches between the knees and six inches between the feet. It's important to support the lower back. So we want the hands onto the back, fingertips facing down towards the floor. The thumb we're going to be with the fingers. So before we go anywhere, we're bringing the elbows together, pulling the shoulders down the back. Now, if you feel sick when you do back bends, go slowly, just follow me. We're going to start with the thighs. We're going to start to push the thighs forward. We're going to start to squeeze those glutes. So squeeze in the bottom. We're pushing those hips forward towards the mirror. Lift the chest all the way up towards the ceiling. Keep pulling the elbows together. And look up. Just look up towards the ceiling. You don't need to look back, back. So it's back yet. So keep squeezing the glutes. Push the hips forward. Lifting up the chest. Look a little bit further along the ceiling. Keep pushing the hips forward. Keep looking up. Chest up. Look back. Keep pushing the hips forward. Chest up. Look back till eventually you can see the back of the room. When you can, that's when you can start to drop one hand down at a time, grabbing hold of the heels. You want the thumbs to be the, on the outside, the fingers to be on the inside. Now, if you drop back, which everybody does, we're going to squeeze the glutes. We're going to start to push the stomach, legs, hips. Everything pushes forward towards the front of the room. Now, push the hands into the heels. Really lift, open up the heart. Lift the chest up towards the ceiling. Remember I said the further you look back, the more easier it is to breathe the more you're opening up the throat keep going keep breathing and then when you're ready come up support yourself very important to how you come out of a posture as well one hand at a time sit the hips down onto the heels turn around lie down relax on your back in savasana it's a very very normal after camel sometimes feel a little bit dizzy a little bit sick a little bit nauseous you've had your head hung upside down very normal so just come down, relax on your back in Savasana, and just try and focus on that breathing pattern again. The heart rate will elevate, but you can slow the breathing down by inhaling through the nose for six, maybe exhaling for a little bit longer, exhaling for eight. Eventually, you'll feel the heart rate come back down to normal. Everything passes. Next posture is rabbit. We're going to do that sit up again. So toes and heels touch, flex your feet, bring the arms over the head sideways. Palms face the ceiling, cross the thumbs, take a deep breath and suck the stomach and sit up the upper pants. Double legs, up, forward to knees and elbows. Touch the floor. So you're going to come to the middle of the towel and mat this time. So if you are using a towel, sitting down, hips touching the heels. So we usually use a towel in class because it's a little bit hotter, we're a little bit sweatier, so we need to get that good purchase. But if you're not as hot, if you're not in a hot room, you don't need to use a towel. So we're going to put the hands onto the back. So imagine you've got your hands in your jeans pockets. The thumbs are on the outside. We're going to slide the hands straight down towards the floor. Now we want to grab hold of the heels. We're keeping the thumbs on the outside. So we're grabbing hold of the heels, thumbs on the outside, fingers on the inside, full hand palm grip. So now we want the soft part of the elbows <laughs> to be facing. Let me get this microphone on again. Soft part of the elbows to be facing forward. Again, we're making an effort to pull the shoulder blades down the back and keep that breastbone lifted. We're sucking the stomach in. Start to pull on the heels to start with. Tuck the chin into the chest. Suck the stomach in and round. Now try and keep the elbows glued in towards the sides of the body as you look at the belly button and keep rounding, rounding, rounding. You're going to slide the forehead down the knees and the top of the head's coming onto the floor. On the exhale, you're going to lift the hips all the way up towards the ceiling. Now we want hardly any pressure on the top of the head. So most of the pressure is you pushing the backs of the feet into the floor. If you've got a tiny gap between the forehead and the knees, you can walk in the knees a couple of times, just a couple of times to eliminate a little bit of that gap. Now remember, push the backs of the feet into the floor, suck the stomach in, pull the shoulder blades away from the ears and pull. You really need to pull. We need to find a way to stretch the lower back. So bring the heels together, suck the stomach and keep pushing the backs of the feet into the floor. Engage that pelvic floor. Keep pulling on the heels. Straighten out the arms. Straighten out the ribs. Just lift the hips up one more inch and then restack each and every vertebrae. Chin up last. Turn around, lie down, relax on your back. In Savasana, legs straight, heels touch, feet fall apart. Come back to stillness, come back to the breath. Breathing in and out through the nose. You have been amazing all the way through class. We've only got two postures left now. And a final breathing exercise and that's your 60 minute class all done. 
Let's end class with the same energy that we started it with. So toes and heels touch, flex your feet, bring the arms over the head sideways, palms face the ceiling, cross the thumbs, take a deep breath in, sit the stomach in, sit up, double bounce, double exhale, foot and knees and elbows, touch the floor. You're gonna turn and face the front of the room. You want right leg to be out corner wise, bend the left leg in. So the sole of the foot is really as high up onto the groin as you can manage it. You're pushing the sole of the foot onto the inner thigh so you can use it for a little bit of balance. Flex the right foot so the toes are back towards the face. Arms over your head sideways, palms face the ceiling, interlace the fingers, turn to the right, Bend the knee up as much as you need to. You're going to round up and over and touch the forehead to the knee. Now again, this is a compression posture before it's a stretching posture. So grab just below where the toes finish. Please get the forehead touching the knee. So even if you need to bend the knee up as much as this, it doesn't matter. Get the forehead touching the knee because then you can use the forehead to gently push down on the knee and slide the heel away from you. So using that forehead to push down on the knee, slide the heel away from you, getting length in the back of the legs, stretching at the end of class. Learn to stretch the Achilles tendon by pulling the toes back towards the nose, driving the heel forward towards the mirror. Now use the sole of the foot, push it onto the inner thigh, suck the stomach in and start to bend the elbows in and down towards the floor. Elbows are eventually going to touch the calf muscle. You're pulling down, roll into that center line of your body now, roll in and then come all the way back up. Well done everyone. Same on the opposite side now, so this time left leg in, right leg in, push that sole Sole of the foot onto the inner thigh, two hips flat against the front of the room, flex the foot. Bring the arms over the head sideways, interlace the fingers, turn to the left, bend the knee up as much as you need to, round up and over, touch the forehead to the knee, and then use the forehead to gently push the knee down, sliding the heel away from you, using the hands to pull the toes back towards your nose. So remember, you're not as in a hot environment, so just go to it. You're just going to where you can feel that nice stretch on the back of the leg. You're never ever trying to overstretch. Use the breath, breathe in and out through the nose. Can you use the sole of the foot to push onto the inner thigh? Stomach in and start to bend the elbows in and down towards the calf muscle. You can drop the right shoulder down, roll in, roll in. Well done, come all the way back up. So both legs out in front. You're going to do another quick sit up just to realign the spine. So lie down and quickly sit up, double bounce. Double legs over to knees and elbows, touch the floor. So starting off this posture, bend the knees, soles of the feet flat. So with your peace fingers, where your flip-flops go, so in between the big and the second toe, grab hold of the inside of the big toe with the peace fingers, put the thumb on top and then start to walk the hips back as many times as you need to to try and straighten out the legs. So the first part of the posture, we're contracting the thigh muscles, lifting the heels up off the floor, turning the toes back towards the nose, stomach in. Now we can all round at the shoulders. We'll stretch from the lower spine. So suck the stomach in, take a deep breath and then start to pull. Lead with the chest and lead with the chin well done. Pulling the shoulder blades down the back, chest forward, chin forward. Eventually you're going to try and touch the forehead to the feet. Suck the stomach in. So remember, chest up, shoulders down. Take a deep breath in, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep going. And then come up when you're ready. Well done. Turn around, lie down, relax on your back in Savasana, legs straight, heels touch, feet fall apart, arms in close, coming back to that place of stillness and just breathe in and out through the nose. So we have the final posture now in the spine, it's in, we have the final posture of class, not in the spine strengthening series. Don't worry, I'm not going to take you back there again. It's a big, deep detoxification of the spine, toes and heels touch, flex your feet, arms over your head, palms face the ceiling, cross the thumbs, take a deep breath in, sit the stomach and sit up, double bounce, to the legs, head forward, to knees and the elbows, touch the floor. So you're going to sit down, bend the left knee on the floor, put the right foot over the corner of the knee, so you want the ankle to be at the knee, and you're pointing this left foot towards the back of the room, so make sure you're not sitting on the heel of the foot, it's just beside the hip, pointing towards the back. Bring the right hand behind you, fingertips into the floor, then we're going to bring this left arm all the way up and over, and bringing it in front of the knee. So eventually you're going to try and grab the knee with the hand, now you may or may not be able to do it, that's just where your aim and if you're not, you're just going to use the elbow to gently push the knee back. So if you can, without collapsing, you're going to bring this right hand all the way back behind your grab for the inner thigh. If you feel like you collapse, 
Keep the hand there and push into the floor. Use that hand a little bit like a kickstand to keep a straight spine. And you're going to start to look all the way back over the right shoulder. So you're pushing back against the knee with the help of the elbow to twist. Get that right shoulder around. Get the chin over the shoulder. Keep the chest up. Keep pushing back against the knee. Keep twisting. Keep twisting and twist. And release. Well done. Same on the opposite side. Now bend the right knee on the floor. Left foot over the corner of the knee. Again, pointing this time. This right foot towards the back of the room. Ankle at the knee. Left hand behind you at the base of the spine. Right arm all the way up and over. Use the elbow to push the knee back. Grab the knee with the hand. So if you can see, I've got ankle, knee, and hand all at the same spot. Lift up the chest. If you can, bring this left hand all the way back behind you. Grab for the inner thigh or keep the hand there on the floor. Push up. And then look all the way back over the left shoulder. Push back against the knee with the help of the elbow to twist. Has this right knee come all the way up? Are you leaning back? Push that knee down. Lift up the chest. Get the chin over the shoulder. Keep on twisting. Keep twisting and twist. And then release. Well done, everyone. Turn around. Lie down. Relax on your back. For Savasana, heels touch. Feet full apart. Arms in close. Palms face the ceiling. Deep breaths in and out through the nose. So we've made it to the end of class. Now, we always end class with a breathing exercise. We start with the breath. We end with the breath. Capybati breathing strengthens the abdominal walls, helps you get rid of some toxins through the breath that might be built up in the body throughout class. So toes and heels, touch, flex your feet back, bring the arms over the head. Palms face the ceiling, cross the thumbs, take a deep breath and keep the arms with the ears. Sit up, double bounce, double legs, head, forehead to knees and elbows. Touching the floor. So come in. Turn around, sit down. Sit down either Japanese style. If that feels uncomfortable for you at the end of class, sit down, cross-legged. I don't mind what you do as long as you keep the spine straight. So again, you're going to think about lifting this breastbone. Keep lifted, keep pulling the shoulders. Going to put the hands on the knees and lock out the elbows. So the reason for doing that again is to keep the chest up. If I was to have a water bottle here and squeeze it, water would pump over the top. I want you to think about that, about Snapping the belly in, so squeezing in, pushing the air out of the mouth. The inhales are going to take care of themselves. So the mouth is slightly open. The mouth is just a passage where you're not blowing. The stomach's going to do all of the work. So put the hands on the knees, lock out the elbows, lift up the chest, pull the shoulders down. We're going to take a deep breath in together. And then let's begin. <laughs> edit this <laughs> you better be editing how I've nearly like broken my neck five times during class <laughs> keep going faster <laughs> five four three two one well done everyone turn around lie down relax on your back in Savasana turn around just for your final Savasana please this final End of class, Savasana. <laughs> no, I'm not used to this. So just come into stillness, just here at the end of class. So from all of us here at Hot Lotus, we'd like to thank you for joining us here in class. We miss teaching you person to person, but we're so excited that we can bring this to your homes and we really, really look forward to seeing you again. So come back to stillness, just let the heels touch the feet fall apart, arms in close towards the side of the body, palms face the ceiling. Remember to come back to the breath, use it whenever you need to, any point during the day. Just take some deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. We're all here for you, we're all here for each other. So relax in the toes, relax the soles of the feet. Relax the ankles, go heavy. Just feel, just even if it's the tiniest bit of tension, just release, sink down into the towel and mat. You've just worked your body for 60 minutes. Every single muscle, gland, organ in your body. What an amazing practice. Let the belly rise and fall. Let the chest rise and fall. Just relax the fingers. Are you still clenching your hands? Very normal. Let the tongue fall away from the roof of your mouth. Just releasing a little bit of tension maybe that you're holding in your jaw. 
Just let the hairline fall back. Please drink plenty of water for the rest of the day or the rest of the evening. Rehydrate your cells. Eat well. It's very important. Look after yourself. And I'll see you on the mat again very soon.